Sun and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens. Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at Axiom Space's upcoming mission to the International Space Station. Right now the space industry is going through an immense amount of innovation and expansion. New companies across the country and world are starting up and working towards different goals surrounding space. A good example could be Axiom which is a private space company interested in building a space station in low earth orbit. Their goal is to expand our access to space and benefit the planet among other things. Axiom Space has its first mission to the International Space Station very soon. They are doing this to bring research, expand the private sector, and create a better future for humans in space. All of which combines into this single upcoming mission to the ISS. If successful it will help increase our future access to space, and help Axiom achieve its many future goals. SpaceX and the Dragon capsule made history when taking the first humans to the ISS on top of a private rocket. Axiom Space is working towards a similar goal right now. So far the chosen crew is already training and getting ready for the mission. Axiom Space is confident this mission will mark a turning point in the human story surrounding our access to space and more. Mission Background Axiom Space is a private company with the goal of improving our access to space through unique ideas, such as building a commercial space station. Here all different types of people and businesses from around the world could rent out a space in orbit and do whatever they like. This could be manufacturing, research, tourism, and much more. The AX-1 mission is the first step to a future that Axiom Space envisions. This mission has been in the works for a while, and is planned to launch in late February of 2022. Here four astronauts from around the world will fly on a SpaceX Falcon 9 to the ISS for an eight-day stay. The mission is operated by SpaceX on behalf of Axiom Space. Not very long ago NASA announced that Axiom had been granted access to the forward port of the ISS. Well in the future Axiom is planning to fly modules up into space and attach them to the ISS, they are starting with a human mission. Due to the collaboration of SpaceX and Axiom, this mission will be the first wholly commercially operated crewed mission to the ISS. In addition, it will also be one of the first dedicated orbital space tourism missions. So far the crew is already far into training having gone through a long list including Zero-G and Centrifuge, and OLS, spacecraft training, and more. Mission Features Research the first important aspect and purpose of the mission revolves around bringing research into low Earth orbit, and specifically with the private sector. Axiom Space has always made it clear the importance of research in future models and even a commercial space station. The AX-1 crew members will dedicate their eight-day mission aboard the ISS conducting innovative research developed for microgravity, on behalf of major organizations, ranging from hospitals to technology companies. Space in general and specifically low Earth orbit provides a very unique and important environment where a lot of valuable research can be done. These same experiments can be very hard to replicate with the gravity on Earth. Axiom also points out that critical findings from the extensive array of experiments will make their way back to Earth and humankind. Specifically, the crew activities a part of the AX-1 mission will focus on science, education, and outreach, conducting around 25 experiments over the course of the mission on the ISS. The invaluable data from studies in human research, life, and physical sciences will all expand the applicability of microgravity research to new sectors. In total, the crew has submitted over 100 hours of human-tended research to conduct during their stay on the station. These experiments and tests will eventually lead to incredible discoveries that help humans back on Earth and the future of private space access. Private Sector and Crew The next feature of the mission that's important to point out has to do with the impact on the private sector along with the crew on this historic mission. Axiom Space mentions that three humans from three countries with three different stories, united as one on the crew of AX-1 by their demonstrated commitments to improving the lives of people on Earth. The crew consists of different humans around the world each providing a specific purpose and goal within the mission and its future. In addition, Axiom is working with each astronaut to design on-orbit activities that will fit their mission goals and allow them to shine a global spotlight on the causes that matter most in the world. This initial mission has Earth along with everyone on the planet in mind first prior to anything else. Each of these astronauts will undergo Axiom training to live and work on the International Space Station, subject to final approval by NASA and the ISS International Partners. Taking a closer look at the crew of four, it starts with the spacecraft commander who is Michael Lopez Alegria. You then have Larry Connor as the pilot. Finally, there is mission specialists 1 and 2 with astronauts Mark Pathy and Aiden Stibb. Each member has different experiences in life and space that will apply to the mission. Lopez Alegria, for example, has flown to space four times over a 20-year, record-setting career at NASA. After this mission, he will become the first person to ever command both a civil and a commercial human spaceflight mission. Future The final prevailing aspect of this mission that I want to mention has to do with Axiom's ideas and goals for the future. 
Axiom is building and operating the world's first private space station, what they call the pillar of a thriving commercial network in Earth's orbit. Axiom private astronaut missions are the first step on the road to this near future. As I mentioned prior, the company is working to build and launch segments of a private space station into low Earth orbit. From here they will attach them to the ISS and expand the space within the station. The station and Axiom will continue to grow and add segments until the ISS is retired. Prior to retirement, the Axiom segments will disconnect forming their own private space station in LEO. While this mission is not launching the first segment of the space station, it is a very promising start. This mission will help build trust, confidence, experience, and much more which are all necessary for future planned missions. With this unique environment and consistent access, Axiom is confident in many developments including microgravity research and manufacturing. Free from gravity's shackles and guided by Axiom, research and manufacturing in space are likely to yield new discoveries and innovative products. Conclusion Recently a lot of development has been made throughout the space industry. This includes many different private companies continuing to progress and grow along with their goals. Axiom Space is a good example with the upcoming AX-1 mission. This mission will provide countless different benefits including research, private sector and crew, and the future impact. All of which work towards a future where more people around the world can easily access space for a host of reasons. With a mission very soon we will have to hope for its success and see the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.